three cubes shredded cheese, three cubes, three cups of shedded, shedded. <laughs> this is biscuits take 56. <laughs> On Secret Sauce, our mission is to find that one little thing that takes a recipe to the next level. On each episode, we'll call up my friends to guide us through making a kick-ass rendition of their favorite dish. So today we're going to make a Southern classic biscuits and gravy adapted a little bit for my Northern taste buds. I'm going to be checking in with the couple that is inspiring me for this recipe who are Alan and Sharon Benton of Benton's Hams in Tennessee. And they're gonna take me through how to make the most perfect Southern gravy out of ham fat, flour, and a splash of milk. There he is! <laughs> Ed, how are you? Hello, sir. How are you? Well, I'll tell you what. I'm excited about making some gravy today. <laughs> well, I'm excited that you're going to teach me how to make gravy, and it's wonderful to see your face. You know, the reason I wanted to, to call you is because I am hell-bent on trying to figure out how to make the best gravy recipe that I possibly can, and it came to my mind that it would probably be wise to use your country ham to do so. Well, uh, that's, there's all kinds of gravy. Uh, country ham gravy is certainly one of my favorites. And the recipe that I used to make uh, the ham that I make and the bacon came straight from the old log smokehouse behind the house I was born in. I've eaten country ham all of my life, and we had biscuits and gravy every day when I was growing up. It was, it was standard breakfast fare. You had it every day. So I guess I would just ask you, if you had one secret to making biscuits and gravy, what would it be? You've got to have lots of fat, or really any kind of sausage gravy even. You've got to have plenty of fat yep. before you put that flour in. Okay. okay. Most people dramatically overcook country ham. <laughs> when my grease is hot, I lay a slice of country ham, and the ham fat for just 12 seconds on one side, flip it over to 12 seconds on the other side, and take it out. I love it. To, to make country ham gravy, you need a lot of grease because I found that it likes to clump, and I don't know how much flour I'm going to need, so that's one tablespoon. I can tell that's not enough. Okay, so you're just going to feel it out. Well, it's actually, yeah, there's two. Let's stir that around and see what we get. Oh, look at that. Can you see how it's sort of browning? Yeah, it's, yeah, it's thickening up there. I'm going to put... Uh, some milk. You can use whole milk or this is 2% milk actually. Okay. I think we're really actually about to where I want it to be right now. Oh wow, look at that. Oh my gosh, look at that. <laughs> That's the real deal. I can't tell you how much I appreciate getting this lesson. I'm going to try and do my best to honor this recipe when I make some here and uh, I promise that I'll take some pictures and send them to you. Have a good day. Right. Thank you, sir. Right. Bye-bye. So for the foundation for our biscuits and gravy recipe, we of course need an awesome biscuit recipe. Well, you are in luck. I'm going to teach you today how to make the best buttermilk biscuits you've ever had using some pretty simple ingredients. We're starting with three cups of all-purpose flour. Then we have one and a quarter teaspoons of baking soda, one tablespoon of baking powder, about three cups of grated cheese mix. You can use whatever you want. Today I'm using a mix of like Gruyere, Emmentaler, and a little bit of Swiss. A little bit of uh, egg wash here for the end, and of course our buttermilk, which is probably the most important ingredient for this recipe. I'm also gonna be adding in some sliced chives today, and because it's the season, I happen to find some green garlic, and we'll be adding that as well. The first step is to sift together all of our dry. I'm gonna add my cold butter. I've cut it up into very small pieces and I'm gonna squeeze it into the flour. That's called cutting in. And as I cut in the butter, it's going to help develop a crumbly, almost sand-like texture. The point of doing this is that the fat will start to develop some layers 
within the protein structures of the flour, which will result in a really flaky biscuit. It almost begins to hold. This is exactly what we're going for. All right, now that I've cut in my butter, I'm gonna add my liquid. Now it's really important not to add all of your liquid at one time. I'm gonna add a little bit, stir it again to incorporate it all, and then I'll go back and add another splash and probably alternate back and forth between my buttermilk and my cheese. Now I'm gonna slice my chives and my green garlic and fold those in. Gonna roll it out to about an inch and a half or so. Ready for this move. I'm gonna let it rest while I clean this shit up. Actually, we do have a situation. We have a really broody hen right now. So what that means is we have a hen who has reached a point in her life where she believes uh, that her job is to hatch eggs, even though the eggs are not fertilized because we don't have a rooster. So she sits on top of all the other chickens' eggs trying to hatch them every day. And the problem with that is that if she does it for too long, she'll start to convince the other hens that they need to brood as well. And then your egg production drops and all the chickens are just sitting around. So we're gonna go pull her out real quick. Hi girls. I hate to disrupt her, but this is life. Come on, girl. It's okay. All right. <laughs> well, we got some fresh eggs. At least that's a benefit. So our biscuit dough has been resting about 20, 30 minutes. I'm gonna take the towel off it now. We'll punch it out, bake it off in the oven. I'm gonna hit them with a little bit of egg wash. You can use fresh cream if you'd like, heavy cream, but I'm doing egg wash today. The point of this egg wash is just to give them a little sheen on the top. All right, now these bad boys go into a 375 degree oven. While the biscuits are in the oven, I'm gonna get the rest of my ingredients together for this dish. Sharon gave us some great tips yesterday on how to make biscuits and gravy her way. I'm gonna use that as inspiration today. We've gotten some awesome weather outside, so I'm gonna head out and make you guys breakfast on the fire using a little bit of Benton's ham. Now this is a 24 month aged country ham and uh, we're gonna render that fat down and be able to use that for the base of our gravy, of which I'm adding a little bit of local cornmeal, some local milk, and we'll have of course our biscuits and fresh eggs from the farm on the side. All right, so I'm just gonna render off some of my beautiful country ham from Alan Benton. This is the gold right here. This is the elixir. This is the, the magic potion. Okay, now that the most of this ham has been rendered out, I'm gonna transfer it to a plate and reserve the fat. Now when Sharon made her family recipe for gravy, she used straight flour. I'm gonna mix it up a little bit by using a little bit of cornmeal. And this will start thickening up on us to provide the base for our gravy. Now I'm gonna add a pinch of salt and a couple cracks of fresh black pepper. Nice and coarse. I'm gonna pull the gravy off to the side and get going on my eggs. It does not get better than this. Buttermilk biscuits, country ham gravy, farm fresh eggs. You know, the Bentons taught me 
two tricks to their secret sauce. One is ham fat. I'm never making gravy without ham fat again. The second is love. There's a lot of love in this recipe, and there's going to be a hell of a lot of love coming to you in more recipes. So come back and see us in Secret Sauce.